Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for another match of Pool B and in this clash we have Monolofo G facing off against Jew. Monolofo G currently top of Pool A with a comfortable lead over the bottom. A win here would pretty much assure their place in the last 16. Not guaranteed, but pretty much assure. But if June can get a win, he can reel him in. Anyway, at first in the blue corner, red corner, we have Monolofo G Titanosaurus. I have to say I've been very impressed with Ron Lofo G so far. Some fine victories in this tournament. And I think he could go far if, should he get out of the group, which I think he will. Because the MVP of his team, the Super Monolophosaurus. We all saw how well that comeback it did in the last round. Are we in for another impressive display from Mono G? Well it's gonna be tough, because. His opponent's also been doing well this tournament, June. And in the blue corner we have the Carnotaurus, Crisis type. Haven't really done much this tournament. I mean, it's been shared weight between the two dinos. The Carnotaurus has pulled his weight. And this Amplosaurus here has also pulled its weight. The tie recovery type coming in handy against the Space Pirate last round with a finishing Futaba Cannon. Who do you think is going to win this clash? I think it's going to be a close one. <laughs> Watch it be one sided now. <laughs> no, I think it's going to be a close one. I can see the loser of this team of this match getting a bonus point. Who has a good start from the Titanosaurus? Oh, no support effect, yeah. Oh, he gets a crit. A strong start from Mono G. Oh, the Carnotaurus is a tie. Oh, that's Carnotaurus out. Oh, oh, it just survived and the Dino Illusion has been triggered. And the Mono comes in for the support effect. And the Titanosaurus will get a nice hit on the Amplosaurus as well, as the swap out fails. Oh, that Dino Illusion coming in handy. But the Amplosaurus is going to be hit again. As, as June yet again fails to swap out. Is this Garnotaur is actually going to get a hit? Well, it did something. <laughs> the Garnotaur disappointingly goes down. A dominant start from Mono G so far. Can the Amplosaurus pull it back? <laughs> oh, the Titanosaurus gets another hit. But the Aqua Vortex activates. Oh, that's going to do no good because the Mono Support Effect comes into play. Oh, I wonder what would happen. I actually kind of want to find out. Go on, let's hope for a time. So we can find out what happens. Okay. We're not going to find out what happens, but the Amplosaurus gets this crucial hit. Ooh. And the shockwave activates, complicating things more for the Titanosaurus. Oh, the Amplosaurus gets the crucial hit, taking out Titanosaurus and stopping the swap. Oh, that's the, that's the Amplosaurus is slowly drawing it back. But here's the MVP of the team, the Monomophosaurus. And it gets the first hit. And it's awakening time. Oh, 
for the Amplosaurus gets a hit. That could be crucial. The Futaba can and activates. I mean, it's not its not going to kill the Mono, but it's going to stop it from using its Awaken mode. And next turn, Mono's health will be halved. And now all of a sudden... I said it was going to be close. Now all of a sudden, it all comes down to this. Is it's a snatch and smash and grab from June as the Amplosaurus pretty much wins it on his own so Camptorus was useless and Manolotho G's 100% record is over as he is defeated for the first time in this tournament but he will get a losing bonus point because Ampy's red was health was in the red so I hope you enjoyed this match and I'll see you next time